The sun's been shining for weeks. It was almost 100 degrees, and I have a leak on my roof. We don't know where the water is coming from. And there it flows. <laughs> and in some kind of way, ended up with a canoe in my backyard. And that's somebody's generator one. I have no idea how it, it, I, it belongs to the neighbor, but why would I want to have a paddle boat in my yard? Unless I'm going to flood or something, huh? The roof is leaking in sunshine, and I have a boat in my yard. I just say the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I fall over. You're going to fall over. <laughs> yeah, it's all noisy out here. Ambulances and planes and generators and when we filmed inside uh, a nagging woman <laughs> so, so what do you think of the place here i like it it's like it. nice and green and fresh and loud and loud <laughs> <laughs> um you just said fort union is where fort union is on the upper missouri river uh-huh uh, it's the missouri the indians called the mini choo choo it's not a train, not choo-choo, mini choo-choo. Mini, I can't mini can say that choo -choo. mini choo-choo. Yeah. Say, it's, no, I'm not going to do that. We've been having fun. Yeah. We've been telling people to say. <laughs> <laughs> say things. No, it's like Quetschen, Quetschenkuchen. Quetschenkuchen. It was the other one you shall tell people to say. Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen, they can say that, yeah. <laughs> so we've been mean, huh? Yeah, we're mean. Yeah, so. We're having fun. Yeah, well, so we gotta have some fun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm I'm so brain dead today. We won't get serious. Go back to Fort Union. You mm -hmm. know what we're gonna do? Uh, right about here. Is there anything we need to talk about leading up to it? Because we can put the insert in here. Um, mm -hmm. Since we since we fixed, we did the very best with the insert that we could yeah. of the computer. So is there anything that? Is it on the main highway? Is it in the sticks? Is it? Uh, it's it's probably 20 minutes from Montana, mm -hmm. and uh, probably an hour from from Canada. They built it two three years ago. They built it a confluence building mm -hmm. with a mu museum. Mm -hmm. uh, there are things in there from Lewis and Clark. Mm -hmm. It has the trail, the Lewis and Clark trail. And they really, really would like to have more visitors coming to it. And Fort Union has, every year we have the um, rendezvous, we have the Indian art show, they have a little powwow, they have uh, the bell walk, what means they have candles on, you walk there at night. Mm -hmm. And they have something on the Fort Buford Cemetery, they call it the ghost walk. So you go on the cemetery and you walk around there and all of a sudden you get spooked Whoa. or scared. Somebody comes out and tells you how they died on snake bite or killed by soldiers. And they're telling their little stories what they did and how they died there. Now that's stage, right? Yeah, that's really cool. Because if you and I go to the graveyard in the middle of the night, it's not staged. <laughs> no, that's the real thing. That would be a real thing, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the real thing. Yeah, well, we go, we're gonna uh, here in a couple of weeks. We're gonna talk about our what else we do other than fall off clouds and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not gonna quit making noise, is he? No. He's How about we do this? <coughs> cut no tree or something. Let's go put that insert in there. Okay. And maybe by then the neighbor is quiet. You want to do that? Okay. okay. All right. We are at the Fort Union Trading Post in North Dakota. And the Fort Union Trading Post is the oldest fur trading company in the United States and existed for 40 years. And we're going to go in the fort because we were at the Fort Union Rendezvous. And this is the south door. The picture was painted from the Swiss artist of Friedrich Rudolf Kurz. And because of him, we know today how Ford Union looked in the 1800s. 
um, on the left, we're going to go in the fur trading room where all the fur trading was going on. And uh, um, in the fur trading post, there were only chiefs or the elders allowed to come in because the soldiers were scared that the Indians would take over the post. So when we go in there, there is going to be a little window where all the fur trading was going on. And right now you saw the fireplace. This is where the soldiers' barracks were standing once. And the reason we know that is because of the pictures Mr. Kurtz was painting. This is the Burgess house. It's a museum today and a bookstore. So this is where all the barracks were. We are in the trading room right now. And here you can see what they were trading. There were Blackfeet, Cree, Assiniboine, Mandan, Hidatsa. They all came for trading and they got clothing for it, food, buckles. Um, yeah, the little buckles you can see there, what they put on their clothing. They had cups, they had uh, gunpowder. And, uh, so the little window, what you could see there, that's where all the trading was going on. This is the fur trading room where the chiefs and the elders were sitting and they did all the trading. There's some, I don't know if that's pheasant. This was Deming. He was the... Uh, Kind of like the manager from Fort Union in the 1800s. There's the fireplace where the chiefs and the elders were sitting and did the trading. That's a um, scale where things were measured. Wire, you can see wire, nails, scissors. The little buckles, what they saw on their clothing, and, uh, cups, cups, measurements, coffee pots. That's where the Indians came for and, and traded their fur. And here's a little belt, um, fabric. This is the window where the trading was going on. There are beads. Leather, yeah, um, material. Wine, of course, what should not have been given to the natives. Um, there are some beadworks on the walls. The buffalo rope, you can see. On the, yeah, there's the buffalo rope. This is outside now. Um, There's another trading room. The little boat there on the side is where the Hidatsa came down with and the Mandam down the river. And this room is today is used when they do uh, some teaching going on in, in the Fort Union. Uh, the flag was painted from Mr. Kurtz too. So this, this is another trading room. There's some bead work. That's standing. Here is a blacksmith showing his work, what he was doing, how they did it around the 1800s. My wife said, you get out there and do something about that. Those are my lilacs. A bunny. Yes, ma'am. And so I did something about it. So he, he did, they made the um, nails for the horse shoes and other work. There's the Borges house again. 
the barracks. That's the cool house. This is the ice house from Fort cool Union, where they put meat in. The museum again. And uh, this is, is the north. Okay, you come out from the north and that's where they had the summer, had the trading going on. That's where all the traders come and uh, trade. Of course, they're sailing their stuff today. Here's one um, salesman. He is sailing beads, uh, bee wax candles. They have the Hudson Bay blankets. There are toys for children. Beads, anything what they could trade with the Indians to get the fur for. Yeah, it, they even had marbles, marbles and, and bone work. There are the Hudson Bay blankets, leather for clothing, and the gray stuff. What you see, the gray is wool blankets. There are some uh, little Indian beadwork, necklaces. There are bottles too, just glass bottles that the Indians like. They will look a little bit around. They had different salespeople with different things. Here's some bow and arrow work what somebody was sailing there making them like they looked a hundred years ago the big hunting air, uh, bows and arrows there's a wonderful beadwork that's leather with beadwork and he had uh, hair pieces the little sticks are with what you put in the hair boots and uh, Necklaces, cases for for the knives, and he, this man, what was sailing there, he did some woodwork, making pictures. Um, yeah, little faces. Well, I won't get into that. There's the teepees in the back. And now we coming to a um, pottery. They did pottery like they did over 100 years ago. And uh, here is a fur trader. He has anything what had to do with the animals. Um, there's bear, bear fur, fox. A lot of coyote, um, the wash bear, and um, what else was skunk? Yeah, that's coyotes. All kinds of coyotes. Silver fox. On the on the right, that's silver fox right here. The coyotes, yeah. And uh, I think they had some bear there too. Bear, buffalo robes. Yeah, there's a skull with some painting. And here in front you can see some skulls from croc they had crocodiles, birds, what they were trading, moccasins, wonderful moccasins, and uh, this west. What the, the Indians really liked. Uh, very very bright colors so they could trade and there are some uh, turtle shells where they made instruments out and it's just a shell and uh, see on top there they decorated them with all kinds of signs um, there are drums and mirrors 
crab meal. And there are buffalo horns. These are polished buffalo horns. 